what's going on guys so i'm out here in moab um i've been as you guys know i got here yesterday i actually did quite a few things um already yesterday i did this crazy like impromptu uh train track hike i just walked along the trails it was insane it was a lot of fun i'm gonna take you guys there either today or tomorrow we'll see but i'm actually headed to um the gemini bridges off-road trail um it's not too long but it says it takes over five hours so we need to hurry up and get there um i want to check some stuff out around the town there's like this cool little swimming hole and stuff that we might get to check out today um but all in all beautiful day should be a little bit warmer which i do love out here in moab but let's get to this off-road trail and and give you guys some excitement give me give me some excitement I'm, that's what i came out here for so check in with you guys in a bit Right, guys so we're out here um this is just going to be a, a half day off-road adventure because gemini bridges is going to be over in about an hour or so but this is moab there's so many places to go off-roading out here as you guys know so um there's actually the gemini's bridges gemini bridges trailhead about five minutes that way which we're going to get out and check out but yeah there's so many different things and spots to check out today it's just you know gonna be a great day for that so it should be a fun video I'm gonna keep it I'm shocked that they brought that out here. But hey, if you want to explore Gemini Bridges, I'd say at least a Subaru, but they brought that out here. So come on out here and enjoy it. Lovely views. All right, guys, um, we're headed down Long Canyon Road. There's a little uh, trip here called Pucker Pass. Sounds pretty intense. It looks like it's right on the cliff. So we definitely want to check that out. But... Yeah, let's see what this is all about. Incredible. Definitely gonna have to get some drone footage for you guys out here.
description, right? Yeah, I appreciate it. Come up, look, Brian. Your name's Brian? Yep. It's not even coming up, Brian, look. <laughs> Oh my god, I just love it here so much. I'm gonna get some drone footage and see exactly where I'm gonna set up. This is. I don't know why I love this place so much. Wow, you guys, so I think we're getting to the road here. 10 out of 10. That trail was amazing. That, I was not expecting that. That was not Gemini Bridges either. That was, um, let me see, which trail was that exactly? Incredible, that was, that is Long Canyon Road. You guys can't see it on here, but Long Canyon Road. It is just unbelievable. Oh my God, Long Canyon Road, highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, this is why I love Moab. Um, it is still pretty early, it's almost 2. I haven't eaten anything, but I might hit another trail and then go into town and we'll see. Um, wow, it's just, I feel so alive when I do stuff like that. It just... Well guys, unfortunately we will not be doing this. I'm glad they have this sign here. As you can see, you need 37 inch plus tires, oil spill containment kit, front and rear locking diffs, which I do have, which would, a winch, which I don't have. Um, it's extremely difficult. Um, man, it looked good. It looked really exciting, but I don't got the, the equipment for this kind of thing. So I already had to put it in four, four low in the entrance. So I'm gonna make a, a turn around and then we keep looking. So I can relax my brains burning. She's got every man's head turned. Check out this bike trail right here. This is a bike trail in Moab. That is just incredible. You can't really see the trail in there, but it goes down into that valley and there's a river and there's trees and it's absolutely incredible. Oh my god. This place is just overwhelming.
All right, guys, there's a little canyon hike in here. There's water coming out of it, so I couldn't resist, but I just wanted to stop and check it out, see what's in here. All right guys, so it's hot as hell out here, which I, I don't mind, but I didn't bring any water and this is a Hunter's Rim hike. And it's a pretty treacherous hike. If you, you're not paying attention, you could end up dying, but you basically have to hike this cliff and you hike the rim of this thing and you keep going. But you know, you gotta scale this cliff and there's very little room for air. I'm just gonna explore it a little bit. I'm not gonna go too far cause I need water and stuff, but it's pretty cool. I marked it on my, uh, on my map so I can come back and do it later, but so far so good. I'm gonna watch my step out Check here. out that view. Incredible. This is Moab, ladies and gentlemen. This is just, it just never ends. It's just non-stop breathtaking views. That was pretty badass. Let's make our way to the last official stop of the day. And that's pretty much it. I ended up driving to the entrance of the Chicken Corners Trail, only to find out that that's 50 miles round trip. I decided to call it a day and conquer that trail for my birthday the next day, so I'll catch you guys in that adventure next. <laughs>